much. Well, Chairman Arrington is absolutely correct that approval of a budget resolution is the most important job of this committee. Indeed, preparation for such a resolution and its adoption is about the only job of this committee. Unfortunately, Republicans have made consideration of today's resolution not their first priority, but their last priority, hurriedly reviewing it today in the waning hours of this fiscal year. Following the overwhelming bipartisan vote approving the McCarthy-Biden agreement called the Bipartisan Fiscal Responsibility Act, this budget resolution today is largely irrelevant. Within only a few days of that vote, back in the spring, Republicans began running away from it in the House and ignoring it, slashing the agreed upon provisions uh, concerning health, education, uh, environmental enforcement, uh, and approving yet another budget-busting tax cut to benefit the well-connected and the well-heeled. The normal purpose of a budget resolution, guidance to the Appropriation Committee in establishing spending priorities, is no longer relevant since that committee has already begun doing its job of slashing those appropriations and other vital services. Unlike the Senate, where Democrats and Republicans work together in compliance with the Fiscal Responsibility Act, uh, where they've approved some of their appropriation bills already without a budget resolution unanimously. A week from this Sunday, October 1st, we're on schedule for a very dangerous government shutdown that will have ramifications for families across this country, and like the last Republican shutdowns, will cost our economy billions of dollars and jobs. Some ask, well, why can't the Democrats and Republicans just work together to avoid this kind of catastrophe? Well, the answer is, we, we did just that when we overwhelmingly approved the Fiscal Responsibility Act. Yet today, we face this looming crisis, not because Democrats are unable to work with Republicans, but because Republicans cannot even work with themselves, as indicated by one recent failure after another in the House. I am deeply concerned about the size of our debt. I share the chairman's concern and that of my Republican colleagues. Yet he reads the recent Fitch downgrade very selectively. He omits one very important Fitch rationale for the downgrade, and I quote from that report, the repeated debt limit political standoffs and last minute resolutions have eroded confidence in fiscal management. And that's, that kind of erosion of confidence is exactly what's going on at this hour. The focus ought not to be on passing a budget resolution, but convincing the many Republicans who think that a government shutdown is somehow good for our country are just flat wrong and to adhere to the agreement we approved in the spring. Fitch also makes another very important point that was ignored. It points not only to spending, but to the effect of tax cuts. And I'll have an amendment about that. This resolution promises us only more budget-busting tax breaks. It betrays any interest in true fiscal responsibility and deficit reduction. Their budget is not balanced in any reasonable way. Now, uh, I would say that another reason that this resolution will never make it to the floor is that it is based on fantasy. I would say that it's based on the first law of Disney, that wishing will make it so, but I understand Disney's not too popular with Republicans anymore. But a good example is they're declaring that they found $1 trillion in waste, fraud, and abuse without ever having identified in this committee even $1 billion, and opposing one effort I have made after another to deal with fraud, whether in Medicare or with our defense procurement. I yield back. Well, thank you. I, 